guys welcome back to world illuminate 11 on this monday i hope you had a lovely weekend and welcome if it is your first time checking out my channel and if it is your first time checking out the channel then please do hit the subscribe button you are very welcome here and if you are new to the channel then a really warm welcome to you really glad to have you over on the channel and today is the day of the full moon which is the first full moon of 2022 it's the full moon in cancer and you know and this is a really a powerful time to really sort of work on letting go of what needs to go you know this is a powerful time to work on forgiveness as well is there anything that you're still holding on to that you need to let go of this is the perfect time to use the power of this full moon to do some releasing make some time for yourself to just connect with yourself to connect in meditation sit to give yourself some time to really sort of work on you know putting down on a list the things that you need to let go of you know things that such as anger, jealousy, you know, all those negative emotions, those things that may be coming up for you. You may be feeling, you know, more um, emotional at this time. Whatever is coming up is actually coming up to help you to release it, you know, to help you to dive deeper into it, to find out why you are feeling the way that you're feeling so that you can work on releasing it and you can release it with this powerful full moon. And, you know, this is a time to just think of what else is in your life that you don't don't need to take into the rest of 2022 with you you know work on releasing all that with the power of this full moon and it's a time for forgiveness as well if there's anything that you're still holding on to any blame any anger you know whatever those things may be they are pulling you down they are like weights on your shoulders that you just need to release you know release those burdens and free yourself open yourself up to be able to bring in more of the positive things as we move into the rest of the year so it's a great time to do some sort of uh, whether it's a ritual for yourself just going into meditation, you know, to work on just releasing what needs to go, you know, call upon the angels to help you to release with the power of this full moon as well. You know, you can do a ritual that and or you can even just write things down, the things that you need to let go of and then burn them and burn them safely as well. And, you know, and burn them, give them to the universe and just say that I'm releasing this because as you release all these things, you know, it's like those sort of karmic energies that are around you that you can release to help you to be able to move forward on your path if you're still holding on to certain anger or all these things they're stopping you from being able to move forward on your path so it is about you really working on releasing those with the power of this full moon so what we're going to do today we're going to bring in a few decks to check in and see what is going on we're bringing in the monology cards today so thank you angels what is going on we're checking in for the divine masculines and the divine feminine. So what is going on for the divine masculines when with the power of this full moon? What is going on for the divine masculines? Thank you, angels. And then what is going on for the divine feminines with the power of this full moon? Thank you, angels. What is going on for the divine feminines? What is going on for the divine feminines with the power of this full moon? Anything else going on? Okay. And and we're also going to bring in the almost tarot. So thank you, angels, for the divine masculines. What is going on with the divine masculines with the power of this full moon? What is going on? Thank you, angels, for the divine masculines. What else is going on for the divine masculines? Thank you, angels, with the power of this full moon. Anything else for the divine masculines? And then thank you, angels. What is going on for the divine feminines? What is going on for the divine feminines? Anything else for the divine feminines? Thank you, angels. Okay, so let's see what cards have come out here. So we're going to start with the almost tarot, actually. We're going to start with the with the almost tarot for the divine masculine. So the first card that has come out is spiritual growth. So you're being shown here that with the power of this full moon as yes, well, the divine masculines are going through a time of spiritual growth, of getting to understand more of what is going on as they're going through their awakening you know and and this is also as we start this new week as well so they're going through this time of spiritual growth spiritual growth that is helping them to be able to move forward on their own path and then also when it comes to this love as well with their divine feminine so there's spiritual growth that is going on for the divine masculines and they may also be facing some conflict so this may be inner conflict you know they may be facing some conflicts in their own mind 
you know, trying to work things out, you know, not knowing which what to actually do about certain things, you know, conflict or this can actually be conflict in the day in their day to day life. If they're trying to make certain changes, you know, people not understanding what is going on in their life. So there is some conflict that is going on for the divine masculines. And then, but they're also moving into making good choices, you know, as they're growing on their spiritual path they are actually starting to make good choices. So these good choices could be what may be bringing in conflict with other people because other people don't understand why they're starting to change certain things in their own lives, why they're starting to go along a certain path, you know, or if they're ending a certain karmic situation, you know, these are good choices for the divine masculines, but other people will not understand them. So they're making good choices. In, and in some cases, this is actually bringing in conflict on their three worlds with other people but they're making good choices because they're going through spiritual growth they're starting to really sort of know who they are and moving forward on their own path and then the next card that came out is loyalty so there is also this loyalty from the divine masculines you know they have that loyalty to you their divine feminine that is what is also helping them to make the uh, good choices so that they can be able to move forward when it comes to moving towards you their divine feminine because they are loyal to you and they're also thinking about this love so they're thinking about this love with you you know they're thinking about this love with you they want to move forward towards you and you know they are wondering how to make changes in their own life to be able to do so you know that may be the conflict that's coming in in their own mind as well because they know that they need to change their life to be able to move forward towards this love that they have with you. So they are sort of trying to work things out and that may be bringing in some conflict for them. But they're thinking about this love as well with you, their divine feminine, because they are loyal to you. And the next card that has come out is insomnia. So they may be, they are suffering as well from insomnia, you know, being in the place of, you know, thinking too much. They're thinking about this love. They want to move forward towards you. They're missing you as well. They're divine feminine. They're loyal to you, but there's also quite a lot sort of going on for them. And, you know, even in their own 3D world. So insomnia is coming up for them as well. And then the cards that came out, or let's do the ones for the divine feminine first. So the first, the cards that came out for you, the divine feminine, so the first card is about self-love. So you are being asked to focus on self-love, you know, continue to be in the place of loving yourself. The more you are loving yourself, the more you're helping your journey to move forward. So this is about you continuing to work on self-love. And the next card that came out for you is surrender and let go. So, you know, this is powerful, especially with this full moon that we have today. You're being asked to surrender the things that you need to let go of. Let go of all that no longer serves you. Let go of all that you don't need to take into the rest of 2022 with you. Just release all that stuff and surrender it all to the universe. Ask the universe that you, you want to let go of all these things and, you know, and surrender it with the power of this full moon. So you're being asked to surrender and let go of anything that no longer serves you, anything that you don't need to keep, you know, you know, to take with you into the rest of your 2022. So really powerful that that has come out. The next card that came out for you is reflection. And this is really powerful. You're being asked to reflect. Take some time to yourself today to reflect on what is going on with you. What emotions do you need to release? What certain situations in your own life uh, do you not need to take into the rest of 2022 with you? You know, reflect on the things that are going on with you and see what you need to release. So really powerful that you got the reflection and the letting go card. This is about you reflecting so that you can be able to let to go of what needs to go so really powerful that those have come out and the next card that came out for you is worry so if there are any worries that you are having right now you're being asked to release them you know let go of those worries you know this is the time for you to release anything that no longer serves you worries just brings in anxiety and you know and takes you away from finding your inner peace so you're being asked to surrender any worries to release any worries 
give them to the universe, ask the universe, the angels to come in and release those worries from you so you can be able to move forward on your path, move forward in the place of having that inner peace and, and joy as well in your life. So really powerful that that has come out. So you're being asked to release any worries that may be coming up for you. And the next card that came out is eventual positive outcome. So you're being shown that when it comes to this love, you know, with your divine masculine, there is going to be an eventual positive outcome because your divine masculine is loyal to you. They're thinking about this love with you. They're divine feminine. They're thinking about how they're making good choices to help them to be able to move forward towards you. So there is going to be an eventual positive outcome. Really powerful that that has come out. And the next card that came out is growing up. So you're growing up as well, divine feminine. You're growing up on your own path. You know, the more you're continuing to keep moving forward on your journey, you are growing up. The more you release the things that are holding you back from being yourself, you know, from really moving forward on your path, the more you release the worries and the fears and the things that are holding you back in your own personal life, whether that's a comic situation for you, the more you are actually growing up in yourself and being able to move forward on your path. So you are also going through a time of growing up. And then that you are also going to have that union that you desire. So really powerful that this has come out. You know, there is going to be an eventual positive outcome you are going to have that union that you desire with your divine masculine. So the angels are saying to you, release any worries that you may have, release them with the power of this full moon and know that you are going to have that positive eventual outcome. You are going to have that union that you truly desire and it's all coming in for you at the right time. But for now, you're being asked to just let go, let go even of this journey as well. Use the power of this full moon to surrender it to the creator and say that, you know, you are releasing the worries and, you know, surrendering this journey and continuing to keep moving forward on your path, you know, trusting and having faith that it is all coming in for you at the right time. And then the cards that came out from the, um, from the, uh, monology cards for the divine masculines. So the first card that came out is the new moon in Aquarius. And it says, bring love into the situation. So really powerful that this has come out for the divine masculines. You know, they are bringing love into the situation with you, their divine feminine, opening up more to this love, making good choices that are leading them towards their divine feminine. So they are sort of bringing love into the situation, you know, realizing that they have all this love for you and really sort of doing things from a place of love as well, releasing what they need to release in their own life so that they can move forward towards this life with you. So they are bringing love into the situation. And then the next card that came out for the Divine Masculines is the full moon in Scorpio. And it says, it's time to release negativity. So really powerful, you know, that this has come out on the day of this full moon. They are working on releasing negativity as well. Negativity, when it comes to their own life, this may be negative situations, negative people around them, karmic situations that are bringing in negativity into their life, fears that are bringing in negativity. They are working on releasing this with the power of this full moon. So they're working on releasing the negative things so they can move more into bringing love into their own life, into bringing love into this situation with you, their divine feminine. So they are working on releasing negativity with the power of this full moon, which is really powerful. The next card that came out for them is the South Node, and it says, don't let your past hold you back. So really powerful, you know, they're working on releasing negativity and also not letting the past hold them back so they're not letting the past hold it hold them back towards the love that from the love that they truly want for their life as well so they are working on releasing the past as well with the power of this full moon you know, this full moon is helping them to be in a place of releasing negativity, of releasing the fears of the, of the past, of things of the past that are holding them back from moving towards this love. So, you know, they're not letting the past hold them back because they want to move forward towards this love with you, their divine feminine. The next card that came out for them, so they got the South Node card and the North Node card as well. Step out of your comfort zone. So really powerful that this has come out. This is about the divine masculine 
confidence, really stepping out of their comfort zone. This powerful, this full moon is powerful for the divine masculines. It's helping them to release negativity. It's helping them to bring more love when it comes to this situation with you, their divine feminine, to make the good choices to move forward towards this love with you, to not let the past hold them back. The things that have happened with you in the past, the things that have happened in their own lives, you know, the fears and everything that they've had, they're working on releasing all those things. So, and stepping out of their comfort zone, the comfort zone of the life that they've always known, you know, the comfort zone of the being, you know, in held in fear in their own life as well. They're releasing all this, stepping out of their comfort zone so they can move forward towards you, their divine feminine. So really powerful that that has come out for the divine masculines. And the last card that came out for them is, the new moon eclipse and it says expect powerful change so this is really powerful you know this is showing you that there is change happening for the divine masculines this full moon is bringing in power for them and the angels are saying expect powerful change when it comes to your divine masculine because there is a lot that they're working on releasing you know even in their own life even if there is that conflict that is still happening they are focused on making good choices they are focused on stepping out of their comfort zone so they can be able to move forward towards the life that they truly desire so the angels are saying when it comes to the divine masculines it's about expecting powerful change powerful change that will help them to move forward towards the, their divine feminine and the life that they desire and then the cards that came out for you the divine feminine so let's see what cards have come out so the first one is hold your vision and it says fixed moon so you're being asked to hold your vision the vision of the life that you truly desire the angels are saying hold that vision trust that it is all coming in have faith that it is all coming in at the right time for you so the angels are saying hold your vision and then the next card that came out is the new moon in capricorn and it says your hard work is paying off so the angels are saying the hard work that you're putting in on yourself divine feminine it is paying off so continue to keep working on self-love continue to keep working on yourself work on releasing the things that need to go because the more you're putting in that hard work the more it is actually paying off so keep working on yourself with the power of this full moon work on releasing what needs to go and know that all this hard work that you're putting in it is praying off it is bringing in the things that you truly desire and then the next card that has come out for you the divine feminine is the uh, full moon in capricorn and it says the end of a tough cycle approaches so you're being shown that for you the end of a tough cycle is approaching you know the end of a tough cycle to help you to move forward to the next chapter of your life the next chapter of your life with your divine masculine as well moving forward towards you because there is going to be that eventual positive outcome so you're being shown here that the end of a tough cycle approaches is approaching so it's about you continuing to do what you're doing working on yourself and continuing to keep moving forward and then the next card that came out for you the divine feminine is the new moon in scorpio and it says work through your fears so this is really powerful you know especially with the power of this full moon whatever those fears are it's about noticing what may be coming up for you working on releasing whatever it is that is coming up for you work through those fears with see where they're coming from work on healing them work on healing on releasing what needs to go it's really powerful because the divine feminines god um let's see if i can find the divine masculine card that came out the full moon in scorpio so the divine masculine's god is time to release negativity with the power of this full moon and you god work through your fears so you're being asked which is the new moon in scorpio you're being asked to work through your fears and release them with the power of this full moon the next card that came out is the work waxing crescent moon and it says have faith in your dreams so you're being asked to have faith in your dreams you know holds the that vision of the life that you truly desire and have faith in your dreams the more you're trusting and having faith the more you're going to bring in all those things that you truly desire and the next card that came out for you is the new moon in libra there were a few cards that jumped out a new romantic cycle begins so really powerful the angels are showing you here 
that a new romantic cycle is beginning. So it's about you continuing to keep working on that self-love, continuing to keep working on releasing what needs to go and know that a new romantic cycle begins. Your hard work is paying off. You know, a new romantic cycle is beginning and you're reaching the end of a, a, a tough cycle as well. You know, so you are being shown here that it's about you continuing to keep moving forward. And it's really powerful. You know, do check out the video that I did earlier, which was about, um, you know, for for the series and the card that came out in there was about endurance, keep going. So the angels are saying it's about you having faith in your dreams. It's about you continuing to keep going. Know that there is going to be that eventual positive outcome. Know that, you know, you are reaching the end of a tough cycle and that a new romantic uh, cycle is, uh, is beginning as well. So really powerful that that has come out. And the last card that came out is to look at the bigger picture. So it's, this is the full moon in Sagittarius. So you're being asked to look at the bigger picture. You know, it's always about knowing that there is always a bigger picture when it comes to anything that is going on in your life. When it comes to this journey with your divine masculine as well, there is always a bigger picture. So, and the creator sees that this bigger picture. So everything is falling into place in the time that it is meant to fall into place. So it's about you trusting and having faith, continuing to have faith in your dreams and know that there is a bigger a picture when it comes to your life so really beautiful messages that are coming through so what we are going to do we're going to bring in some angel numbers oracle 101 as well see what the angels would like you to know as well today thank you angels what messages are coming through for everyone today okay so let's see what messages are coming through for the from the angels wow the first one is 72. You are manifesting your perfect partner. So the angels are saying to you, you are manifesting your perfect partner. The more you keep focusing on you, the more you keep releasing what needs to go, the more you keep standing in your power and continuing to have faith in your dreams, you know, and continuing to to trust and that all is coming in at the right time, you know, and really being in the place of, of trusting and having faith, you are manifesting your perfect partner. And that is coming in for you because a new romantic cycle is beginning. So really beautiful that that, uh, that has come out. The next card that came out is 48. Magic is all around you. Pay attention. So you're being asked to be in the present moment when it comes to your life. There is a lot of magic around you. You know, you see so much magic. Like I took this weekend off. You know, I talked about it in the video that I did um, yesterday. I was really guided to just switch everything off, you know, to, well, to not be on social media or be on my phone, on any, my laptop, any form of technology. Just really take the time to myself and just really pay attention to what was going on around me, within me. And, you know, when I was walking in the park and I just saw so much magic around me. So that's the, me that's the message that's coming through. I'll share the little video that I took with uh, the squirrels and the birds and, you know, the magic is all around you. So it's about you paying attention to what is going on around you. And then the next card that came out for you is six. No need to worry, ask for help. So you're being asked to not worry. There is no need to worry because there is a bigger picture when it comes to your journey. Everything is being sorted out. So it comes in when at the right time. There is going to be that eventual positive outcome. So release the worries, you know, with the power of this full moon. Or call upon the angels and ask for help to release those worries. And, you know, and let them all go. Because there is no need to worry. Because everything is exactly as it is meant to be. And it is all falling into place as it is meant to. The next card is focus on the end result and have no fear. So this is about you holding that vision, focusing on that end result of that life that you truly desire and have no fear. Release the fears with the power of this woman. Let the fears go. The next card that came out is 21 and it says it is happening. So the angels are saying to you, it is happening. So trust and have faith. Keep your vision on the end result of the things that you desire. Release the fears, release the worries and put up, bring up the faith and the trust and know that it is happening really really powerful and the last card that came out so so beautiful thank you angels is 65 it will all work out beautifully 
So the angels are saying to you, Divine Feminine, it will all work out beautifully. Release fears, release worries, release whatever is holding you back when it comes to, you know, your, you, move, you moving forward in a place of having faith and trust. When it comes to you moving forward, when it comes to connecting with your true self, you know, when it comes to you moving forward on your own spiritual path, release all those things and know that it will all work out beautifully. With your Divine Masculine, you're manifesting your perfect partner it will all work out beautifully so you're being asked to trust and have faith so really beautiful messages coming through from the angels there so we are going to finish off with some new i've got a new deck by george blue eyes tarot um that arrived this weekend as well so i'm using it for the first time we're going to see what messages are coming through it's the divine masculine messages to the divine feminine see what messages are coming through so thank you angels what is going on with the divine masculines as we start this new week what is going on with the Divine Masculines? Thank you, angels. What else is going on with the Divine Masculines from this deck? Okay, so we've got a few cards that have jumped out here. So the first card is, I'm at a crossroads and I am at a crossroad in my life right now. So your Divine Masculine is saying to you, I'm at a crossroad in my life right now. You know, that is why they're working on, you know, they may have some conflict going on. You know, they are trying to work out what to do. They're working on moving forward towards the life that they truly desire. They know that there's a life that they desire as they're growing on their spiritual path. But there's also the things that they've done all their life. And they're saying to you, I'm at a crossroads in my life right now. And this is about them moving forward towards the life that they truly desire. And the next card that came out is, wow, I'm leaving the karmic. So really powerful. So that's that crossroad that they are on. They're saying to you, I'm at a crossroad that right now, in my life right now, you know, there's the life towards my divine feminine, you know, the life of my spiritual growth. And then there's the life sort of with, with the karmic or, you know, the life that I've le lived all this time, but I am leaving the karmic. So they are moving forward towards you, their divine feminine. Really powerful. I'm leaving the karmic. And then the next card that has come out is, wow, our union is happening. So the divine masculine is saying to you, our union is happening. The angels are saying to you, you are manifesting your perfect partner. There is going to be that eventual positive outcome. So, you know, it's about you trusting and having faith. Your divine masculine is saying our union is happening. So that is about them at the crossroad moving towards you, their divine feminine, leaving the karmic you know, that can be a karmic situation if they're in a relationship, but that can be leaving a karmic as in the fears or leaving a karmic as in a job. You know, whatever is their own karmic situation, that's what they're saying to you. They are leaving that karmic situation and moving forward towards that union with you, their divine feminine. And then they're also saying, I can't stop thinking about you. Really powerful cards by George here. And they're saying, I can't stop thinking about you. So they're moving towards you. They're thinking about this union, making good choices towards this union because they're saying to you, I can't stop thinking about you. So really powerful. And the last card, the, oh, there's two cards. The, there's one about the root chakra. So, you know, there's really jumped out this, these cards. So the root chakra, so they are also working on feeling more stable in themselves, you know, feeling more stable in their own life, feeling more grounded as well in them in themselves so they are working on this by releasing the things that they need to let go of you know and working on feeling more grounded and stable in themselves that's about you know feeling having that feeling that they are more secure as well in their 3d world so they are working on feeling more grounded and the last card that came out is trust me so they're saying to you trust me you know, I am doing what I need to do and I am going to get there. I'm moving forward towards you. You know, there will be that eventual positive outcome. So your divine masculine is saying to you, trust me. So it's about you really being in the place of trusting and having faith and, you know, working on releasing what you need to release with the power of this full moon and continuing to keep focusing on yourself and working on self-love because that is what is helping your journey to move forward. I hope you have a great day, guys, and happy full moon. I'll see you on the next video. Love, peace, positivity, and light.